Nikola Jokic, a man some refer to as the Joker. Jokic has rapidly climbed the NBA's ranks and just won his first championship last season to go along with his two MVPs. In this one, we will be going over the few who dared to disrespect Jokic and how they would soon regret it. You're watching Hoop Harmony. Hoop Harmony. Nikola Jokic vs. Jay Crowder is an odd one, truth be told. Jokic was literally just playing basketball and ended up scoring on Rudy Gobert. However, right after he scores, he does look at Gobert in an almost mocking way. Jay Crowder didn't like this and he proceeds to call him a f Right after he says this, he gives Jokic a shove with his forearm. Jokic lets it slide for a second, but once he realizes what happens, you can hear the Stone Cold music play in his head as chaos ensues immediately after. This took place in the first half and Jokic ended up having a dominant 20 and 20 game with 28 points, 21 rebounds, and 6 assists as the cherry on top. Let's just say the Joker had the last laugh in this one. Jay Crowder is just a role player. Imagine how Jokic took things when Jokic went at it with a fellow MVP. This matchup took place in January of 2023. Everyone was hyped for it as two MVP caliber players at the time were going at it. Joel Embiid versus Nikola Jokic. This rivalry was at an all-time high at this point in time. The first couple of quarters, it was a very close game and competitive at that. At some point during the third quarter, Joel Embiid had Jokic on an island one-on-one. -on -one. This was it, the matchup everyone came to see. Embiid drove past Jokic and hammers home a crazy baseline dunk. In the fourth quarter, everything got real as the Sixers and Nuggets were going back and forth. Embiid decided to go at Jokic time after time again. During the last 30 seconds of the game, Joel had Jokic alone yet again and says, let me have this dance, and proceeds to show an impressive array of moves and tops it off with a step back three. The crowd goes insane. Embiid was doing all types of taunting after the shot. In addition to this, Joel Embiid said a quote saying how he doesn't need to stat pad to win an MVP, which was an obvious shot at Jokic and everyone knew it. The next time the two teams matched up, Embiid was of course missing in action. Joel Embiid hasn't played a game in Denver since 2019 and the Denver fans reminded him of this. Jokic absolutely feasted in this game. It was as if he remembered exactly what Joel had done to him and he made sure to take it personally. He was shooting over defenders, throwing alley-oops and simply dominating the entire time. Finishing the game with a triple-double consisting of 25 points, 17 rebounds and 12 assists. This next player is not only an absolute block machine, but he's also a three-time defensive player of the year. Nikola Jokic vs. Rudy Gobert. It's not often that Jokic meets somebody that is able to guard him properly, let alone guard him at all. This momentary beef takes place at the beginning of 2020. Gobert was guarding Jokic on this particular play until a foul was called on Rudy. Rudy Gobert immediately went to talk to the ref. He then says something and does a flop-like motion to indicate that Jokic was flopping. It seriously looked like Gobert was having some kind of seizure or something. He looked like a fish out of water. From that day forward, Jokic decided to give Gobert the business every time they match up. Jamal Murray tells us a story about Joker and something he said to Rudy. One night, Jokic was cooking the Jazz very badly and there was absolutely nothing Gobert could do about it. Therefore, the Jazz coach decided to send help for Rudy. Rudy immediately denied the help from his teammates saying, Don't help, I got this. I'll let Jamal Murray tell the rest. Gobert goes, uh, no, I got him, I got him, I got him. So Yoke has the ball, he goes, brother, I have 47. <laughs> In addition to Jokic dropping a career high at the time of 47 points, he also eliminated Rudy Gobert from the playoffs two times in the last three years alone. One of those eliminations coming last year en route to Jokic's first NBA championship. I think it's safe to say Rudy Gobert learned his lesson after all of this. A three-time Defensive Player of the Year is crazy, but going against two superstars is even crazier. The stars in question? Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. Jokic has been beefing with the Suns team for quite some time now, whether it was with Campaign, Devin Booker, or the latest one, Kevin Durant. To make matters worse, the Suns eliminated Jokic and his Nuggets from the playoffs back in 2021. Jokic would soon get his revenge in 2023 when he had the pleasure of going at it against the one-two punch of Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. 
The Nuggets started the series off strong by taking a demanding 2-0 lead, but the Suns would not back down and managed to even the series at 2-2 apiece. You knew the tension was going to be high headed into this next one, and it was the Nuggets who were up by 20 near the end of the third quarter, and as they were coming up with a strategy to make their comeback, Jokic was trying to get into the huddle and overhear what the Suns were discussing, and Kevin Durant wasn't having any of it. This is when he proceeds to shove Jokic out of the huddle, and Jokic sells it well enough to force the refs to give KD a technical. Jokic went on to drop a triple-double and win that game in a convincing fashion. He brought his team up to 3-2 in the series, and he somehow topped that performance and dropped a 30-point triple-double, winning that game by 25 points. He absolutely obliterated the Suns and took that Durant shove personally. He also showed Kevin Durant how to win a ring the right way. This next situation is what you've all been waiting for, Jokic's most real beef. This one had the entire Miami Heat team waiting outside of the Nuggets locker room. We truly saved the best for last, folks. Nikola Jokic versus Markeith Morris. This one takes place on November 8th, 2021. What happened here came as a shock to every single person in that entire arena as the game was in the final two minutes. And it was already over, to be honest, at that point. The Miami Heat were not coming back from being down 20 plus points, but for whatever reason, Markeith Morris decides to absolutely ram his shoulder into Nikola Jokic's body. As many of you know, Jokic did not take this lightly. It took less than five seconds seconds for him to retaliate. He crashed right into Morris at full speed. For those of you that don't know, Jokic is 6 foot 11 and over 280 pounds. If a man of that stature charged you with speed, that's like getting hit by a convertible. Jokic hurt Morris so bad that he ended up being out for a whopping 58 games. That's over half a season. Meanwhile, Jokic was given a one-game suspension and only had to pay $50,000. I say only because, of course, he signed a five-year contract for $270 million, which was the biggest contract in NBA history at the time, until Jalen Brown signed for $300 million. Anyway, Jimmy Butler was absolutely heated, pun intended, at what just occurred and yelled for Jokic to meet him in the back. This will be important in a second. Many people argue Morris shouldn't have turned his back, including Hall of Famer Charles Barkley. You can't hit somebody and turn your back. After the game, the entire Miami Heat team waited for Jokic in the tunnel. The Miami Heat didn't do anything after this, and if you didn't know by now, luckily for the Joker, the Jokic brothers don't play that and would have been ready to help their brother in a heartbeat. Jokic wound up beating the Heat in their next matchup anyway, and if you haven't been able to tell, when there's beef, Jokic will always drop a triple-double, and there was no difference with this one. 19 points, 12 rebounds, and 12 assists. These were five cases of why you don't mess with the man they call the Joker. Thank you for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe. If you feel we missed any cases, be sure to let us know in the comments.